Where are you from and how long have you been living in South Korea? I am from the U.S. and I've been living here for about six years now, quite a while. I'm actually from America, born in Atlanta and living in Orlando and I moved to Korea in 2019. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio and I've been living in South Korea almost about a year now. I'm from America, more specifically Texas, and I've been living in Korea for three years now. So I'm from Michigan in the U.S. and I've been living in Korea now for almost seven years. And how has that experience been for you so far? Um, I think there's a lot more pros than cons. You know, since I've been living here for six years, I really enjoy living here. I mean, it's much cheaper than living in the States. And I have a lot more opportunities here. So I overall had a pretty good experience. Well, obviously I'm married now, so quite well, hasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. I just been mentioned that you were married, like, how did that work out? Like, where did you meet your husband at and where did you get married at? Uh, interesting story. It's kind of like a K-drama kind of story. We met uh, three years ago, kind of like on this application. Uh, one of those, like, meeting friends applications. And next thing you know, I see him and the first thing I said to him is like, I like you. That's it. You're mine. Um, it's really, it's enjoyable. I, I live and work here. So during the week, I, I work a lot. Um, but on the weekends, you know, it's always fun exploring, going out, meeting people, stuff like that. I think for the most part, I haven't had any negative experiences. What made you come to Korea? My boyfriend is Korean, actually. <laughs> um, so that's what made me come here. Um, we met abroad and then did long distance for a bit, lived in the States together for a bit. And I just wanted to, at that point, meet his family, um, see where he came from, learn, you know, about his culture. I knew we were in it for the long run. So that's what brought me here. So I came right after I graduated college and I was interested in traveling and living abroad. And I was really interested in Asia. I went to Japan and China uh, through some short-term scholarships when I was in university. And I was on a K-pop dance team. And I, uh, I met some Korean friends and I learned more about the culture. So I decided to come to Seoul. To be honest with you, I was like, since probably 18 years old, I had started to fall in love with like the whole K-pop, K-drama scene. Um, Specifically, I fell in love with like one K-pop group. They were called uh, Janice, and uh, Boyfriend Janice was the song I found first. Then I started getting into K-dramas, and then I just started falling in love with the culture. And then I just, you know, decided to move here and pursue like my, my career here. So I studied about Asia, like in general, in college. I know everyone knows about Japan, China, places like that, but no one really, in my friend group at least, knew anything about Korea. So I kind of wanted to explore there. And also, you kind of get tired of where you're from sometimes. Being from America, I was like, oh, I want to go somewhere else, so. What do you do for a living in Korea? Um, right now, I work at a startup company. It's like um, Edutech, and I guess my title is content manager, but I really just kind of do whatever they throw at me. I started off as a student at a language school at Sogong University, and now I'm doing English teaching and I'm trying to do like social media, like TikTok, YouTube, stuff like that, so yeah. What were your ex expectations of Korea before coming to South Korea? I don't know. I think I just had a really open mind because there was so much more that I, you know, didn't know about the country. And I definitely learned a lot more since I've been here. Everyone, when they come to Korea or planning to come to Korea, they always think like, oh, it's just like the K-dramas. And in some ways it's similar as far as the culture, but in a lot of ways it's different. It's not all glamorized and beautiful as like they make it out to be. When you're a foreigner here, you really have to do everything yourself. And if you can't, you got to rely on somebody that speaks Korean to help you out. So I, I did struggle a lot in the beginning. Uh, of course, now I can speak Korean, but definitely it's one of those countries where you've got to get help from others and there's a lot of prejudice towards foreigners still. What's it like being an American in Korea? Korean people are really interested in foreign, foreigners. You kind of get mixed reviews when you say you're American. Some people really like America and some people don't, but everyone I've met really likes America. I mean, I think maybe it might have to do with American soldiers sometimes being different, but I've had really good experience being an American, and yeah, everyone is really nice. As an American, obviously, like, you know, nationality-wise, I think there are some advantages. From my experience, most people don't seem to have any issues with American people. I'm sure they exist, but I haven't run into them. I don't know if people would teach or treat me differently if I was black but not from America, or like, 
black and not from a European country. Because I've heard some stories about some black people that were mistreated because they were from like certain like African countries. I guess the fact that I'm from America as well is helping with that. I think there's a lot of opportunities for us here, especially if you're a native English speaker. You know, I'm getting to do different jobs and different things here that I might not be able to at home. So that's something I guess I'm always, you know, feeling grateful for. Yeah. I will say this. Um, lots of Korean people love Americans. I'm not really sure why, maybe because the American military is here, that they're like, oh my god, it's an American, yay! Where are you from? And I'm like, Florida, Miami! And I'm like, no! What are the stereotypes Koreans have of you as an American? Uh, asking me if I play basketball, or if I can rap, or if you go out to the club, they push you into a dance battle. They go, it's your turn, and you go, oh. No. <laughs> maybe that we are loud, you know, like I said, loud, and maybe that we're kind of easy, you know, I think those are the two ones that I get a lot. What are the challenges you've experienced living in Korea as an American? When I first came here, I was an English teacher um, for two and a half years. I worked at a Hagwon. My experience there was uh, not the greatest. I'm sure you'll hear many, many horror stories on that. Um, but I learned the hard way that they don't really help you unless you ask for help. So in terms of like getting my bank account set up, my phone plan set up, everything I had to do my on my own. And I realized like this is not the country that really likes to help foreigners or Americans or something like that unless you specifically like, can you help me? I think as a foreigner that we are kind of separated. Um, when I first came here, I was an English teacher and there were Korean teachers and foreigner teachers at our Hagwon, and it was always very separated, and they would kind of treat us as a foreigner. And I think it's hard to kind of, you know, especially if you've been here a while, you can be here for 10, 15 years, but you're still oftentimes treated as like an outsider. So I feel like that's kind of hard sometimes is trying to just you know, blend into the society. And even if you speak Korean very well, it's still kind of hard. So I think that's that's kind of difficult. You made mention about, you know, like the um, xenophobia. Can you like, you know, elaborate on that like a little bit? Yeah, um, I think it's just shocking, you know, sometimes here when you see like signs on cafes or restaurants that maybe say no foreigners, something like that. Um, I think being a white uh, female from an English speaking country from America, I definitely don't get the brunt of it as a lot of other people do. Um, I don't experience it as badly, but it's definitely still prevalent. And I think if anybody denies that, then they're just, they don't want to face the truth. What's it like for you as an American dating in Korea? So. I haven't had like major issues dating, but I definitely would say that the dating experience has not been uh, as easy, in my opinion, as my white counterparts. And this is no hey, like I my one of my best friends here, like we talk about this t stuff all the time. He's white, and even he like admits like some of these uh, differences in like our ability to date here, just because uh, I think when it comes to like dating someone of like our complexion, people may not be as familiar with that. And so it's a little bit harder for some people to approach and maybe even consider dating. I think another factor that kind of makes it a bit more difficult is that there are some stereotypes associated with dating a black male specifically. Uh, a lot of, you know, sexualization, people think that if she's dating you because uh, she's dating you then because you're black, for example, or if she's dating you then she's like a very not good person. What do you think about the healthcare system in Korea as an American? It's shit. There's reasons for that. There's reasons for that. Korea is very cheap and there's so many things you can do for very cheap and very fast. Um, you don't have to make any reservations, appointments. You just go in, get it done, get out. However, in America, it's really expensive. Uh, you have to make reservations, you have to wait a long time to go to the doctor. But there's a reason for that. They check everything. They triple check, double check, because if anything goes wrong, Americans have the opportunity to get rid of their medical license and sue them for their mistakes. Um, Korea, I've had going on now two times big mistakes in the healthcare that the doctors didn't think to double or triple check on and just did something on my body without my permission. And so 
because my husband here is Korean, he's had to like step in on my behalf because they think I'm a foreigner. It's okay for them to just do it, but it's not without my permission. So I think that it's good, but I don't think that it's perfect. There's a lot of flaws. The fact that it's so fast means that they're not checking their work. What do you like about living in Korea? I would say the number one thing would have to be safety. Yeah, it's just, um, you know, when I read the news at home in the States, all the gun violence, the mass shootings, I can't justify going home sometimes, especially like if I'm wanting to raise a family, you know, it's really, it's really sad. What's it like, you know, being vegan in, in, in Seoul? At first it was very hard, but now it's a lot more easier because Nowadays, a lot of coffee shops, they have um, plant milks and then also there's vegan restaurants popping up, oh my god, like every week. Like it's crazy, so it's really cool to see such a change. What would you say, you know, like you dislike about Korea? Mm. Probably like, things that just don't sit right with you. There's this like idea that you have to respect your elders here. You know, I was raised in a Nigerian household, so I do understand this idea like respect your elders, like don't be rude, this and that. Don't give it your left hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets a bit serious here because, for example, someone can, it's never happened to me directly, but I've seen it. Typically, like, the old man can literally be the one that's in the wrong. But if you say something or do something, now you're in the wrong. And it's like, you're kind of expected to just sit there and take it. You're not allowed to, like, really defend yourself heavily. Do you plan on going back to America? Living? Probably not. I really love Korea and... I see myself living here long term unless something happens, something changes in terms of like the war or like anything drastic changes, then I would go back to America. But I do visit every year to America to see my family and that I do enjoy and I think that Korea would be my living home and like other places would be my temporary home.